Greg Shoemaker, TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com here at Centerville High School with Afadi Odenigbo, the defensive end, has got a handful of offers. And Afadi, take us through that uh, process of uh, the recruiting. I mean, all of a sudden, out of nowhere after the season ended, you were up to a whole bunch of offers. Tell us about what's going on. Oh, I'm very grateful and blessed that God has put me in this position. I know I, right now, right now I'm up to, I'm up to uh, 21 offers. And uh, I received my first offers in the in December, but a lot of, of them started a lot of them started happening after signing day. As you look forward, I mean, is there any schools that are, are really look good to you at this point? I mean, what are you looking for to to measure measure major in at the next level? Um, right now, I I'm looking at uh, pre med because my mom's a doctor, so I really like what she does, and I'm also thinking about something with the economics. But uh, the schools that I'm looking at right now, that I'm I'm just getting a feel through. But like, yet again, I can't really say I have a, a really a top five because I am just really blessed and I never thought I'd be in this situation. But uh, right now, I'm looking at a Northwestern, Ohio State, Stanford, and Notre Dame. But it's it's gonna change uh, when I start visiting schools like Michigan, Michigan State, and like University of Illinois. As the soft season goes on. What have the coaches told you you need to work on to get yourself to be a better football player in 2011? Uh, what they told me was, uh, they told me that uh, uh, last year I played a, around 205. So they just told me that uh, work hard in the weight and make sure I'm gaining more weight and gaining more weight because my emphasis for next year is not to get pushed around a lot and uh, be more be more run supportive. I feel like last year my uh, what, really, what really helped the team was my pass rushing skills. So, but like, I kind of lacked lacked the strength and the bigness, like the size, uh, to stop the run. So that's going to be my main emphasis. When you look at the 2011 Centerville Elks, talk a little bit about what you like on the defensive side and the offensive side of the football. What I like about the defense, we lost a lot of great talent last year. We have about six starters coming back. But what's nice about the defense is uh, – each of the starters, there's three starters coming back on defense. Each of the starters is like for each section, if that makes sense. Like I myself, I'm D-line, so there's one D-lineman coming back. For linebackers, there's one linebacker coming back. And for the DBs, there's one DB coming back. So there's, uh, there's going to be a lot of leadership for each section. Now, as far as uh, influence to you, I know you talked about your mom being a doctor. Uh, you, you played here with Michael Bennett, Kyle Rose. Uh, talk about some of your influences at, here at Centerville and, and helping you through to the next level. Oh, what helped me through through to the next level is, like, like, like you said right now, my teammates like Michael Bennett, Kyle Rose, and also the great coaching staff I have. Like uh, me, I started football my sophomore year. I started playing football my sophomore year, and I picked up the game pretty quick because of because of I have supported teammates like Michael Bennett and Kyle Rose, who's constantly giving me tips and helping me out. And also, uh, I have a great coaching staff, like I said, like Coach Ole and Coach Bertram, who've just taught me, who've just made football a lot easier and simpler for me. There you go. Ifadi Odenigbo, defensive end for the Centerville Elks. You'll be hearing a lot about him this fall. I'm Greg Shoemaker for TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com.